This is day 150 of learning how to play hockey. And right at the start of this drop-in, I had a goal-scoring opportunity. Now hindsight, I probably should have passed, but the game had just started, and honestly, I still didn't know who was on my team. But I was able to win this puck back and dish this pass inside for another chance on net. Oh, nice try. That's the thing about these drop-in games, though. We try to keep it dark versus light, but this group is just a bunch of random people that show up to the rink, so it doesn't always turn out that way. Now in this game, I had a lot of opportunities, and I was able to put some in the back of the net, but I sold this one. In my defense, it was kind of bouncing, and we'll call that a warm-up. I was able to keep possession, though, and for this video, I want to show a lot more untrimmed footage and not just the highlights so you can see how I play 150 days in. Oh. And that means you also get to watch me get crossed up. Now, a lot of people have been asking me what position I play, and I never really have an answer. But as of right now, I'm not the best on defense, and I find myself in these situations pretty often. And yeah, I'd say they typically end just like that. Alright, jumping off the bench from a line change here, and I immediately find myself in a one-on-one. -on -one. I could tell he was looking to cut in here, so I tried to just stay in front, and the goalie made a great save. It went off of him, then the fence, and now I'm looking to go the other way. Immediately, I'm thinking past to this guy in front of me who's much better and faster than me, but his defender kind of followed him, and nobody stepped to me. So I took the lane and had a shot. I always feel kind of bad shooting when there's anyone in front of me, but I felt confident enough that I wasn't going to hit him there. But that chip was a little closer than I would have liked. Now on these roller tiles, the puck slides pretty well, but not always. I tried to collect it and keep it moving forward as quick as I could, but now I'm getting double teamed. Thankfully, my teammate was talking to me behind me, so I hit a blind drop pass. And on that same shift, here's how I got my first point of the game. Not the greatest pass, but my teammate was able to adjust and put it in the back of the net on the breakaway. Now, we had good numbers in this game, so I tried to keep my shifts pretty short and use up all my energy during them. And this play right here was pretty exhausting as I tried to get back to make up for my mistake. You have yours, yours, yours. Oh, sorry, my fault. I almost ate it there. <laughs> I really did. I was real close to wiping out there and I was going pretty fast. I'm not sure defensively how I could have handled that better, but I'm definitely taking notes on how he used his body to cut me off two separate times there. Now I took a bad first touch on this one and tried to dump myself into the corner, but he blocked it and I thought he was going to give me a gift right here, but he cut back. And just moments after, this happened. It was almost a sick snipe, but instead, it ended up being a trip across the street. And look how far this thing went. Back into the game, and I'm gonna blame my now dirty wheels for almost falling here. Looking up, I've got two teammates heading forward now, so I'm gonna hit one in stride, and suddenly, I'm the last man back on defense, which is not my favorite position to be in. But I think I made an okay defensive play here, and a turnover in our zone quickly turned into this. Not the prettiest two-on-one, but a goal's a goal. And that was my first of the game. I've been trying to work on my backhand shot because I keep finding myself in positions where I need it. And while it's not the best, at least I can get it off the ground now. But one thing I still haven't figured out much at all is how to protect the puck when it's on my right side like this. Do I just need to keep it more behind my body or what? Okay, now this play was almost one of my favorites. You see what I was going for there, right? I don't think I've even attempted that yet. And I think if I used that toe to pull it down just a bit more, I would have had him. This left wing is where I find myself the most naturally. And I almost connected with my boy Leon here, which would have been a pretty nice goal. But this one would have been even better. Just imagine if we pulled that off. But I kind of lost control right here. So that pass ended up behind him. So he did this. And I thought that looked cool. Let me try that. And it almost worked. Now I'd say it's really been in the last month and a half or so that I've started to feel good enough to actually take somebody on. Because for the first few months, I was too worried about losing it. So I'd pretty much just pass or shoot it right away every time. But now I've got a little more confidence. And my awareness is getting better. As this pass was coming to me, I quickly looked up to see my teammate Chris, who was picking up speed. And right there, I knew exactly what to do. And that's just something I'm getting better at over time. Right after that save, I found another free pass. But can we capitalize this time? And the answer is no. But he's still got the rebound and he's looking to take another shot. But he doesn't like the look, so he's going to go ahead and wrap it around the net. I'm pretty covered here, so he takes another shot and we've got another save. But that's not it. Another breakaway, but this time the puck decided not to join. So I picked it up and tried to hit him back inside. Could not connect. And that's when I got my chance. This is it, guys. My first ever in-game Michigan. Nah, I'm just playing but I got you for a second, didn't I? I wish I could get that one back, but honestly, if I could redo any play, it would have to be this one. That corner was so open, and I straight up missed. I just set up a shooting tarp in my basement, so I'll be working on my shooting accuracy a lot more now. Another breakaway here, and let's see if we can finally put one in the back of the net. Nope. Nope. 
Alright, last shift of the day here, and I think I only had maybe 10% battery left. So I really wanted to try and score quickly here. And right off the bench, I created this opportunity, but as I carried it up, I didn't really see a shooting lane, so I opted to pass instead. And on this shift, we had a lot of chances. That one went over, and this one almost put me in the clear. But that's okay because I was able to put this one in the back of the net. Finally. That was my second goal, but hang on. Now I'm just one away from a hat trick. And this is the last clip I got before my GoPro died. And what a wild ending it was. Everyone's pretty gassed here, so their defense did not put much effort to get back. So we found ourselves in another breakaway. Didn't work out. And yeah, that corner's really slick. But we've still got it back on his feet to get the pass. To then hit me inside for the perfect opportunity that I choked. But that is not how it ends. They picked it up and drove it back to the other side. Great sauce pass that did not connect and now we're driving back the other way i am absolutely free but this pass was just a bit too long fast forward a few seconds and here's where it gets crazy he's got it behind the net scoops it up for the michigan but it gets blocked hits a body then the post and that is a wrap ggs thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one he's gonna <laughs>